Since it debuted in 2001, The Fast and the Furious has become such a big, successful franchise for Universal Pictures. And I just saw the brand new installment, Fast X, now playing in theaters. But is this new installment of the Fast Saga another action-packed adrenaline thrill rush? Or is this one worthy of crashing into so many, I don't know, obstacles? Watch this spoiler-free review and find out. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Noel, better known to as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a spoiler-free review of the just now released action film. Fast X, released by Universal, directed by Louis Leterrier. The 10th Fast and the Furious story film. And the 11th overall film in the franchise. Featuring Vin Diesel back, along with an all-star cast that includes other stars from the previous films, including Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, Chris Lua, Chris Bridges, John Cena, Jordana Brewster, Sung Kang, Plus, Natalie Emanuel, Scott Eastwood, Daniela Melchior, Alan Richardson, Dame Helen Mirren, Brie Larson, Rhea Moreno, Jason Stam, Charlize Theron, and Jason Momoa. This time around, Don must protect his family from Dante Reyes, who seeks revenge for his father's death and loss of his family's fortune. Before I get into my thoughts and what have you, if you have not seen my reviews for the other films in the Fast Saga, I would recommend you click on that card and it'll take you to the playlist so you can catch all my other Fast and the Furious franchise reviews in case you might have missed them or if you'd like to see them again. And I've just added the F9 spoiler-free review I did a couple of years ago to the list. Okay, now then. First of all, Dom and his team are requested by the agency to steal a computer chip during its transit in Rome. So, Dom and Lay stay behind with his son, Lil B, while the rest of the team travel to Rome. But that night, a wounded cipher arrives at Dom's home and informs him that Dante Reyes, the son of drug lord Hernan Reyes, has turned her crew against her and is using them to target Dom in revenge for his father's death. Lil Nobody takes Cypher into custody, but reveals that there is no mission in Rome. So apparently, they're getting to a real big situation here. And let me tell you, Rise is one crazed villain, what have you. Now, the beginning of the... I'll give you one little heads up. The beginning of the film shows some archived footage of... A fast five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Now, and I'm really saying that I did like this really had a lot of good action, but however, like all the other films, except for maybe Furious Seven. And Fast Five, this film's got a mixed response and what have you. Uh, film, unfortunately, currently sits at 54% on Rotten Tomatoes, where you say it's as irredeemably silly as it is self satisfying self-aware. The film should rev the engines of longtime fans while leaving many newcomers in neutral. True, but even so, uh, I will say the story kind of is a... A little bit of a mixed bag and what have you. That is kind of one of the downsides I have with the film and what have you. But overall, I will... Which, of course... That's one thing that the critics are saying. Uh, the writing of the film. However, everyone else... But however they praised the cast performance, it's particularly Jason Momoa. And what have you. Now our cast, Vin Diesel, once again great as Dom, Michelle Rodriguez as Lay, Tyrese Gibson as Roman, Lil Chris as Tedge, 
John Cena as Jacob, as who we were introduced in the previous film. Let's see. Natalie Emanuel plays Ramsey. Joanne, Joanna Brewster once again plays Mia. Sung Kang plays Han. Scott Eastwood plays Lil Nobody. Dame Helen Mirren plays Magdalene. Which reminds me, Jason Statham returns as Shaw. If you recalled seeing him in, since I didn't mention the F9 review, you'll you know is that it was him at the post credit scene. There is a post credit scene at the end of this film, but I will not tell you about that, okay? I won't spoil that. Brie Larson plays the character of Tess, the daughter of Mr. Nobody, and a rogue representative of his agency who will allies with Dom and his crew. Rhea Moreno plays Abuelita Torrell, grandma to Dom, Jacob, and Mia. Yes, after recently seeing her in Aid for Brady earlier this year. Well, she's not in the movie much, but Morel's very good. Jason Sam plays Shaw again. Yeah, he's still pretty good. Jason Momoa as Dante Reyes. Yes, I was correct. He is the son of drug lord Hernan Reyes, seeking revenge against Dom and his crew for the death of his father and loss of his family's fortune during the events of Fast Five. Now, he described the character as Dom's foil, saying the character is very sadistic and androgynous, and he's a bit of a peacock. He's got a lot of issues, this guy. He's definitely got some daddy issues. Yeah, I will say he's a little odd in, in um, some scenes and what have you. But I gotta say, he's cuckoo, but hey, I really like this. I still enjoyed his performance just because. Now, he expressed a desire to play against type when portraying the character, taking on a less macho character, and he performed his own stunts for the film. Charlize Theron plays Cypher again. And we have Leo Abello Perry as Lil B. So, you know, this little guy was fine, too. So, anyway, the cast is absolutely really good. Now, I'm, I'm wishing this film the best of luck. It's so far doing pretty decent enough. They have Brian Tyler on board to do the score, and I will say that was really good, too. Uh, since he has composed the score to... Well... Other films in the franchise. Uh, yeah, he's. I'm sorry. Yeah, because he's done this since the, since Tokyo Drift. He's done the score for Fast and Furious, Fast Five. Let's see, Furious Seven. And the fate of the Furious, and the more recent F9. Now, of course, he's done other well. The scores for other films more re more recently, Scream Six and the Super Mario Bros. movie. Anyway, so I'm happy for what Mr. Tyler had to offer, and this has some pretty good stuff in. Now, this was. Planned since 2004 and a two part finale planned since 2020. And now, former director of this film, Justin of the franchise, Justin Lin, was confirmed to return with the main cast attached. But however, Lin left the director's chair later that month, citing creative differences, which the principal photography began last April. Nevertheless, I will say. This film is still pretty good. Uh, another kind of bit of a downside I have is the shock at the end in one of you. So, yeah, it's going to leave us hang on by a thread in one of you. So we're going to have to wait a couple more years for the next installment to come. Now, according to Vin Diesel, he wants Robert Downey Jr. to star in this as the primary antagonist. But we'll see. We can't really jump to any 
rumors or something like that, you know, but that's so I read and what have you. So, and apparently, not so long ago, when the film premiered in Rome, Diesel claimed Universal requested the series extend to a three-part finale, thus extending the main series to 12, th 12 films. So, we'll see what happens. But overall, I still had fun watching Fast X and why have you. It was a lot of fun. Man. So, overall, I think it's fun to, and you should check it out. So, for my score, I'm going to give Fast X four stars. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it an 8.5. So what did you think of Fast X? Let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Thank, thank you for, for checking this out, and we'll have another video coming up soon. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, check out my reviews for these other recent films I have seen in the theater. And yep, or just more or just some more recent reviews after streaming them. In the upper left hand corner is my review of of the Super Mario Bros. movie. The upper right hand corner is my spoiler free review of Scream 6, which I watched on Paramount Plus, not not in theaters. But um, or if you would you would like another recent Hit, you can go to the bottom left hand corner and see my spoiler free review of Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, which is now streaming on Paramount Plus. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. And I'm happy to report that I've now gotten 500 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. I'll give you an announcement on the QA later on next week, okay? And when it'll come up. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.